Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Monday afternoon. Reports of increases of COVID-19 cases nationwide extended to parts of KMA land. Samantha Beeson is Montgomery County's Public Health Administrator and Interim Public Health Administrator in Page County. Though limited information is available, Beeson tells KMA News there are signs of an uptick in COVID cases in both counties. In fact, the most recent Iowa Department of Health and Human Services flu report indicates the statewide COVID-19 positive rate is at 15.5% with 120 hospitalizations in Iowa over the past week. KMA Land School Boards are seeking some champions of education to serve on local school boards. Thursday at 5 p.m. is the deadline to submit nomination papers to Southwest Iowa School Board secretaries to run in the November 7th elections. In Shenandoah, the terms of incumbents Jeff Heiser and Benny Rogers expire with this election. Despite changes over the years, the U.S. Secret Service's mission is stayed the same, protect the president. That's according to John Bay, who served in the agency from 1971 to 93. A 1962 Shenandoah High School graduate, Bay returned to Shenandoah yesterday to give a presentation to the Greater Shenandoah Historical Museum, in which he detailed the Secret Service's history and attempted to dispel some of the myths surrounding the agency. One of the things he talked about was how the agency has changed over the years, particularly after assassinations, such as the 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy. He talked about that same subject in a recent interview on KMA's Morning Line program. It changed, I think, uh, the way Congress got serious about funding the agency, for one thing and personnel and getting adequate personnel and adequate funding for all of the intricacies that are involved in, in presidential protection. Clarendo officials say river levels for the city's water source are now out of the danger category regarding water conservation. City manager Gary McLarnon gave that information to the Clarendo City Council at its most recent meeting. KMA on track weather well, sunny the rest of this afternoon. Highs of the mid-80s tonight, 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Increasing clouds, lows in the low 60s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a good rest of your Monday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.